Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za Smart cities uh, need to take all the consideration of all the uh, challenges of the population that they want to include, uh, including uh, as well technologies, uh, sophistication and um, abilities of people that can provide the services. So I think it's about uh, facing challenges and reducing all the, the problems that we can have in every major cities all around the world. I think um, some of the grey areas when people are being informed about cyber security, it's never in the context in which those people operate. So I think for teenagers, teenagers need to hear a message of cyber security that applies to them. Um, adults, um, the elderly need to hear uh, cyber security information that uh, caters to the position that they are in, as well as the organizations and the national level. So I think one of the places that are being missed is that the message is not contextualized. Well, uh, especially for Johannesburg or even Cape Town, we saw it regarding the water crisis. Obviously, it's not only about ICT, it's about energy, it's about inclusive, uh, include the population, uh, not just we, we had a really, really, I'm, I'm assisting, but we had a really great speech regarding the fact that uh, it's not about creating a smart cities for creating a smart cities. So for me, it's about creating a smart city to include the population and think about how to reduce the consumption, the consumption of the energies, uh, for instance, if we don't want to talk about the ICT. The ICT is just a tool. I think with all the the cyber security initiatives that do exist, there needs to be synergy. We need to um, define a, a, a goal so that we can work in, in, in collaboration, not work in silos. Because you would find out that there, there is a cyber security awareness campaign that exists in a certain province. There is um, a cyber security tool that is used by a certain municipality. All of these things are used in isolation, but I think if we could have synergy and be on the same par in terms of what exists in South Africa and how we can add value to the people that really need it, um, we would be in a better position when it comes to cyber security. In Paris, it's really about bringing back into a place where there is like a lot of uh, new technology startups with a lot of big companies and trying to work all together to create a better city that is already uh, well settled. And in, in Johannesburg, it, it, there is a big city for the, I'm, I'm talking about uh, uh, Johannesburg CBD for instance, and there is like a lot to rethink, to change, and to like um, to for include all the population together. There is such a, a huge cleavage between uh, Soweto, Santa, and Johannesburg, and to create all the connection between all this area and try to work all together. When actually Paris is much more actually all the same. I think one overarching method, which is not an other, I think that puts everything together is fostering a cyber security culture. Um, fostering a behavior um, that subscribes to secure 
um, assumptions amongst all users of ICTs. I think that is what um, we should all be striving for from a societal level, um, a good organizational level, and as well as um, a national level. For more stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za. Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social mediums.